Hello, I am Blaze Livingston from Omaha Northwest High School. Pause up! Dreams reside in clouds above my head, creating fantasies of how my life could have been given I was rich, given I was born flawless, given I wasn't such a pushover. But that doesn't matter because in that little cloud, anything is possible, everything is possible. I'd be out of my deadbeat job of scanning, bagging, scanning, bagging, trying to create diamonds out of coal. I'd be out of my simple, imm immature social circles filled with childish gossip and idiotic arguments. I'd be out of my boring classes which fill me with useless information. I might win at Jeopardy, but I lose at life. I'd be out of my personal prison, able to do what I need to do to let me succeed because I don't need to impress anybody. Dreams are locked inside this little box called a skull, inside a little animal called a brain. There are the cold medicine dreams, there are the horror movie dreams, there are the deja vu dreams that freak me out, but the biggest dreams, like a being a doctor, a professor, an actor, a writer, those go beyond the little box into a thought bubble. Like in the comics they tell me I'm too old for. Those dreams are the easiest to crush. Every time I let that cloud out, I know someone sooner or later will take those dreams and grind them to dust. Tears run down my face as I try to grab for the remains of my aspirations, which are falling unpredictably like pieces of dead confetti, celebrating the end of my future. My dreams of what could have been are crumpled and thrown away by those who try to keep me grounded at the cost of my happiness. I've been eaten piece by piece by the sharks and alligators of reality as I'm swimming in the ocean of hope. Hope, they say, will drown me. Hope is just a distraction from the road I'm supposed to follow. I'm being forced down a single tunnel, only following mindless sheep who don't know of the cliff on the other side. They fall down into an abyss of nightmares that I've fallen into hundreds of times. I'm only a freak of nature. I'm the scientist and the monster rolled into one. I've got the rebellious mad mind of an angry soul and the mentality of someone doomed for failure. As Alexis Carroll said, man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he's both the marble and the sculptor. Every time I dare to dream, gravity has a way of pulling back down to earth, and over time, the pain of crashing into the ground at terminal velocity won't even phase me. Because despite the vulnerability and hurt I go through every time, I will not stop dreaming. Because not dreaming is worse than falling into that abyss. Because if I don't dream of a better future, I won't have one.